Yo. Yo. OMG BG. What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Beyblade Burst unboxing. Today we got a Hasbro box set. Super exciting. This is the new Beyblade Burst Turbo Championship Clash set. So it comes with like a bunch of bays, a brand new stadium, two launchers, and tournament notepad. Interesting. So last year with Beyblade Burst Evolution, we also had a similar like championship set. This time I guess uh, it's a similar kind of set, but comes with updated brand new bays. Most excited for? What do you guys think? Turbo Achilles or like Wonder Valtrick? Or is it Dread Phoenix? There's six of them here. Let's take a look at the back of the box and we'll see a overview of everything we get from this set tells us we have Wonder Valtric V4 in here, we have Dread Phoenix P4, this is a, like a pretty new Beyblade, plus it has a recolor, actually all of these bays in this set is recolored, so that is cool, um, if you already have these bays you're gonna get a different version. We also have Air Knight K4, we recently just unboxed this bay, like the starter pack on our channel, so if you haven't seen that yet, go check it out. On the other side here, it looks like we have Turbo Achilles A4. Turbo Achilles um, in this red color, red and blue. The other one from Hasbro we unbox is red and silver. So none of these colors are like the anime colors, but it is, a, I guess, a special edition. Only available in this Championship Clash set. Then we got Fafnir F4, the Fafnir with no rubber, the infamous Fafnir. And then we have Rocktivore R4, the most useless play in this set. At least has a metal tip at least. <laughs> I was like, just kidding guys, Do, am I actually kidding? Anyways guys, before we get started with the unboxing, make sure you guys are subscribed and click the bell notification icon so you guys don't miss a single video. We're also going to be doing a battle later, so stay tuned for that. Let's go back to the front and let's get ready to open up the package. Time to unbox it. Alright, like first impressions, I guess I was being a little bit too tough on Rocktivore. Like the gold color with the black sides. The design out of all of them, that's my favorite one. Alright guys, so we assembled all the base, all the parts are together. There are six Beyblades, starting with Wonder Valtric V4. So this is basically the bay that kicked off uh, Beyblade Burst Turbo, the season, with Vault's new Valtric Bay. And it has the D51 disc and the TA15 Slingshock performance tip. And this reminds me of that limited edition gold one that we actually have from Takara Tomy. That's true. So it's kind of like a recolor. The gold must have been inspired by like Takara Tomy's recolored. Okay, then next up we have right beside it is Fafnir F4. You know, no rubber Fafnir. It's got the D59 and TS16 Slingshock performance tip. And then uh, next up we have, this is Air Knight K4. Air Knight, not my favorite recolor out of the whole set. Just doesn't look as appealing as I would like it. Yeah, so the design of the bay is pretty interesting. It has uh, the air cutting theme to it. Right beside that bay we have Turbo Achilles A4. This bay has the burst locks and it's got the Dimension Slingshock driver. We also did a dedicated video on that one. It's a pretty interesting Beyblade, so I'm glad they featured this bay in this set. Right beside that is Dread Phoenix P4. Yeah, so the upgraded version of Revive. And it's got that new orange color in this colorway. Yeah, a bit of blue in there too. Yeah, it looks pretty unique. The armor does weigh more than Revive, but uh, still no metal. Now, uh, speaking of metal, the next bay, the last one, last but not least, Rocktivore R4, the only bay that has a metal tip. So it's got the TS-13 wedge driver and it has a metal surrounding. So that's pretty cool. And remember guys, you can scan your bays into your Beyblade Burst app. Bam. Nice, got the recolor. Got the Rocktivore R4 and the recolored. Can unlock the bay now and use it in my app. Now is your chance to get the bays into your apps. So we can scan these right now and get the bays. Sharing is caring. Hope you guys were able to get those codes from our bays. Um, next up, we also have a notepad bracket. So you can start your own tournament, battle with your own base. Yeah, so I guess you can play 
the bass in real life, or you can play the bass in your game and start a battle league yourself. Okay, next up, let's uh, assemble our stadium. First thing I actually noticed were these plastic pieces. So what these plastic pieces are, they're called course diverters. So I think this is the first time I've seen it implemented into Hasbro stadiums uh, or in any stadiums in general, which is really cool. Um, so I found that you can actually put them in like so. There's like a little slot that you can uh, slide them into. Instead of your bay spinning and going into the rail system, uh, I guess this diverts the bay and you stay in the main playing area. So here we have it, the brand new stadium. Um, so officially this is called the Championship Clash Bay Stadium. Um, and I told you guys already, it's got the course diverter, which is like, I guess the signature feature of this stadium. It's got three speed cradles, two smaller ones, one bigger one, and then the battle ring in the center. Uh, the battle ring also has like these like, I guess. Oh, it's kind of like uh, inclined a little bit. Yeah, it's kind of like, it's kind of like a skate park, you know? It's got like little ramps. Um, and then last thing I want to show you is these little imprints on the side walls here. That's Valtric for sure. And then Achilles right over there. Um, so yeah, nice design. They're meant so that you can store your layers on them. I guess like for example, we got a Phoenix here. Store it there. It's pretty secure, I guess, but I guess this will fall off. Uh, but in, either way, I, I don't know if you're going to be using it that much, but that is a feature of the stadium. All right, so let's go into a battle. Let's get it. Dude, I feel like this stadium is so much bigger than I anticipated, I guess. Let's do it. Okay. I'm gonna start with Valtric. I'm rocking that new Achilles. Let's go. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Yo, Whoa. can't divert my attacks. Buddy. <laughs> that was pretty intense. I love this part. That part is sick. Like it's raised up here a little bit. Yeah. So you actually like go like that. Dude, there was so much Ooh. impact that I actually yeah. jumped into the rails. Dude, we should go full circle. Go like up here and then through the rail and then back or something. Okay, so I'm gonna take those. Okay, let's take out this one. It's just one of them. Okay. Yeah. But then when you go through this rail, oh, you might you so might thin. you might hit this part. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's try it. Three, Three two, two, one. one. So you can still enter the rail on one side. No stamina. This basically makes it super more di like more direct. Like this That's will like true. definitely like send you right into the center of the stadium if you're like battling uh, a defense type or something. Dude, that is actually a really smart design. Okay, next up, Fafnir F4. All right, so I'll switch it up to. Let's do it. Rockdevor R4. And I gotta make sure like everything is in slingshot mode. So let's pull and twist. And metal driver is so nice to see. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Oh, still in. Let's get it, Rock the Boy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Attack him from there. Nice. Technically, that's not a pocket, right? Yeah. All right, let's take, let's take off this guy, too. Take off both. Let's go ride the rails on either side. All right, next matchup. Let's use that Dread Phoenix. Okay, I'm going to go with Heelys. Three, two, two one. one. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. That's actually a pretty nice burst. Can't touch this. That was not bad. Dude, riding up here is so fun. Like, that's a cool part. Yeah, and then when you took off both of the diverters, you were just stuck there and I had, to, I had a chance to just hit you so hard. Okay, let's just put one of them back on. All right, Dread Phoenix, Slingshock mode. Rock the Vore, Slingshock mode as well. Three, Three two, two, one. Wow, it's dodging everything. Man, Rock the Vore just flying. <laughs> okay, got Air Knight, K4. Three, Three two, two, one. one.
Dude, let's test out the speed cradles next, too. Dude, that's what I was gonna say. I feel like the speed cradles haven't been used a lot. Yeah. There's not really a chance to actually even go into them. Basically, you just have to launch right on top of it. Let's try it real quick. <laughs> uh, let's see how you get right in. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Oh, and then he's still flying out a little bit. Oh, oh that's one oh, way to go in there. Uh, getting stuck in the rail. <laughs> And then slowly back into the center of the stadium. Yeah, dude, this spot is really thin because we got the uh, diverter there now. Yeah, redirect you right into the stadium. Performance tips are wider, can't really fit through here. I feel yeah. it's really tight. All right, let's do one final round. Who yeah. do you use? Go back to Valtric. Oh, and you got uh, Turbo Achilles. Yep. Oh, you're gonna try out the speed Yeah, cradle? I wanna launch an attack type into the speed cradle here to make it go like really quick. All right, see if it works. Three, Three two, two, one. one. Right. falls right out the sweet cradle all right guys so that's basically it for our unboxing of the championship clash set with the new base stadium and the six beyblades um i think my highlight of this unboxing was definitely the stadium for sure and oh, i'm not gonna lie rock the four actually looks really nice uh, not a fan, not a huge fan of this beyblade specifically but the recolor is really nice and i am liking the you know the metal performance tip so that's cool. Uh, that's basically it for the unboxing, guys. Make sure you let us know in the comments below what else you guys want to see next. Make sure you like the video, subscribe, and as always, geek so.